with psychiatrists, you really need to understand biology, you need to understand neuroscience. You need a whole range of other skills. You need, really need to know how to relate to people well, you need to understand families and systems, you need to have a psychological understanding of things. Um, I loved my psychiatry placement uh, in med school. Uh, so I, I took a psychiatry placement a ro uh, rotation in, as a junior, which I also loved. I just found you got to really engage with patients in a way you don't in other ways. You have time to get to know them, you have a time to really delve into what's wrong and what's right as well. And, and you get to you just get time to explore that and you make such a big difference. You really have to be a bit nosy, you have to really want to understand why people tick. Every day is different, I've been practicing for over 30 years but still every day I meet something different. I did my house jobs and I kind of lost touch with that, I was running around, you run around, you get your scans, you get your bloods and you lose touch with what you came into medicine for and then when you go back to psychiatry you're doing what you love again, you get a lot of time with patients, you really get to know them and I think that's the beauty of medicine really and that's what everyone enjoys. The important thing about psychiatry to me is that it takes care of the whole human being. Not just, you know, the medication, you go to see a doctor and you're given prescription, but you look at the social aspect, you look at the physical aspect, you look at, you know, the, the condition they've come with to treat them. So it's a, it's, a, it's a holistic approach, that's the key thing for me. It gives me the opportunity to meet with patients, to really relate to them, to hear about their life problems, to hear about their inner world. And it's a, a tremendous connection with another human being um, as an individual. Um, and I believe that you get more of that in psychiatry than you do in the rest of medicine. You can make a massive difference to people's lives. If you can, if you can help people with these horrible conditions, you can really change people's lives. I work with people who are extremely unwell. Um, who've often done things that have really made them fall foul of society, of other aspects of um, other parts of psychiatry. And one of the biggest achievements for me is when one of those guys gets better. Sounds cheesy, but when they get better and they leave and, the, you know, they're happy. That, that's the achievement, really. We have to make diagnoses and give treatments without knowing all the facts and without knowing exactly how things are going to work because every patient is different. And so sort of really getting to understand your patient and, and, and actually doing the best you can for them is, 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 the, is the great joy of being a psychiatrist. We're very much into patient-centered care now, and it gives us the opportunity as a psychiatrist to give them state-of-the-art treatment, both from the psychotherapy side, the medication side, but also the services that help them integrate back into their communities. There's a lot more to discover and um, I feel like there's a lot of progress to be made. There's a lot of research areas that are up and coming at the moment that are very exciting. Psychiatry is a pinnacle of medicine. Not only can I look after people's physical health, I can look after their mental health as well. Today's psychiatry is literally in its young adulthood in the neuroscience research that we're doing and they are going to be doing treatments that are way beyond what any of us believe we would be doing right now. From the neuroscience, from the MRIs, from the pathways, they are going to have a profession that's going to help people way more than what we're even helping people now.